After days of aching and eating, dusk has been narrowing down the possible causes. The psychic toll has definitely required her to eat more calories, but perhaps in her haste, she did not take as much caution as she possibly could have. While the fat she had been consuming wasn't going to immediately affect her, the possibility of parasites was always there. And so, there is a strong chance that that is exactly what she is dealing with. And out of all of the various medicines that both Dusk and Elliot have picked up so far, anti-parasitic medication is not one of those things. Yet the hospital that Elliot visited, the one that fixed his arm, that may yet have the supplies they need to save Dusk's gut yet. Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, No Hope, where we are going to be trying to, when night eventually falls, make our way back up in the direction of the hospital here in Brewster. The fire that raged to the south of there could potentially have what we need, the anti-parasitic medication, and if not there, then the hospital is still a very, very good option. Having both Dusk and Elliot there fighting, I think we stand a good chance to take out anything that still remains. We do need to be careful of the mound of dirt that is along the way there, but we know that we're generally pretty safe to try and get ourselves up and along this route here, moving past that cathedral and then all the way back to Brewster. Of course, Food Person is still there, but Dusk hasn't had a chance to improve her social skills enough to be able to more than likely recruit him. And then if we do need somewhere safe to stay, we have the Magic House. And I do believe there is a possibility that there could be something a little bit extra going on down below. So perhaps we'll try and have a look at that once we make it back there. And so of course, we want to make sure that we are going light, that we're not going to be carrying a load of unnecessary things. Right now we're currently full, but I would like to make sure that we are going to bring some fresh water with us. So let's just see how our canteen is doing. It looks like it must be totally fine at the moment. Indeed it is. We've got fruit wine as well. We probably don't need that right now. Oh, and the dried cat food. Perhaps on the way back we'll try and see if we can stop by the hedge maze here to see if we can find that Siamese cat. Yes, a sound plan. But we still have around about four hours before sunset, so we're just gonna be taking it easy here at home, making sure that we drop off our equipment and get ready for the night ahead. Ah, and just while I was preparing here, I did notice something. Uh, extended channeling. So before under our traits, we had standard channeling. All of that work that we just did into psionic channeling has allowed us to change things, or rather how we channel our powers. So with extended channeling, you are taking more time and care in your channeling powers. It takes 25 times as long to evoke them, but your focus has no effect on the chance of their success. Interesting. Okay, so for us to cast this now, it takes two seconds. So before it wasn't taking seconds, it was taking like turns. So it's a small amount of time for us to cast those things. So for enhanced strength, yeah, a minute and 18 seconds. So I think what we are going to want to try and do is turn that on and off when we need to, or rather I should say, maybe we leave it on because then the chances of success are always higher. Like there's the failure chance is super, super low while we're at home. But while we're out in the field, we'll go back to standard channeling. So if you have a look at our mutations, we can activate it, we can deactivate it down here. Yeah, there we go. And I don't think that that's going to affect us too much, swapping back and forth between them. But with standard channeling, we can see that, yeah, as quickly as we can. So now force shove, for example, takes 10 moves, which is way faster. It's 25 times faster. So good to know that we have that as an option. And you know, to pass a little bit of time, I think we're gonna read some of Fletcher's friend to try and see if we can get our fabrication skill a little bit higher. And it's nearly seven o'clock. Unfortunately, we are tired. We're already hungry. So this is something that just needs to happen this trip tonight that isn't. Elliot, where were you going? Oh, he was going to sleep. Fair enough, but we are going to need to get you awake today. Let's just drink some of the water out of the tub for now. And we're gonna drink until we are completely satisfied. Forcing ourselves to drink a little bit further. Yeah, there we go. We should be hydrated before too long. We've got more water with us as well. And we are going to be taking 
uh, a few of these caffeinated chewing gums just to try and give us a little bit of a boost. We don't want to be falling asleep. We really do not want to be falling asleep. Having Elliot with us, I think, will help. Let's just tell you to wake up. And I wonder if I can tell you to, like, temporarily, well, I could say go back to your usual sleeping habits. Sleep when tired, none. Well, if we really want to tell him to not fall asleep, we can give the actual command. For now, though, I think we should be okay. He is back awake at the moment. He's got his bayonet in hand. His bayonet is a little bit damaged, though. I do wonder if we should pass on Dusks, but at the same time, I like the idea of her having a hold that weapon. Elliot, you're just gonna have to do with that for now. We're moderately wary at the moment, but I think, um, I think we can make this work. How long is it until sunset now? Oh, it's still an hour and 19 minutes. You know what? Let's just have a quick nap. I know we literally just took caffeine pills, but we'll try and nap in the chairs here. And I guess it's going to be a three hour nap. There we go. The alarm. The alarm goes off and Elliot, Elliot, you strange, you strange, strange man. Um, so Elliot's lead tentacles are gone. Um, replaced with padded feet. Those roots that had sprouted from where his legs once were have now reformed again. Mind you, still bark, but now he has just two legs and those two legs are padded feet. Okay, Elliot, uh, time for you to wake up. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, we do want to have a look and see exactly what is going on with him. He has his jaundiced trait back. He is still beautiful with his abysmal mana regeneration. Highly vain as well. And then padded feet. What is that going to do for you? The bottom of your feet are strongly padded. You receive no movement penalty for not wearing shoes and even receive a 10% bonus when moving barefoot. Also, your steps are significantly quieter as the added tissue dampens the noise. Well, this is all good. It's going to help Elliot keep up with Dusk in general, with speed. And he can't really wear shoes at the moment, or at least rigid shoes, because of his bark. So that is super useful. Elliot, a chimera. Yeah. Okay, so we are famished at this stage. I think we're probably going to need to try and eat an egg before we go. So let's knock that thing back. And I am tempted to try and see if we can carry that one there with us. There are more eggs back where we were. Weight-wise, we're totally fine at the moment. We have our AR-15 in our lifting field currently. All right, out the door we go. And... I'm confident in leaving the plank there while we're gone, while we're home, we want to try and take it off. I know I didn't this time round, but in the future we will. I also think maybe having access to prescription stimulants would be a good idea. We don't have any on us right this second. Elliot, let's just see what you have. I wouldn't mind taking that magazine from you. Oh, and he just didn't eat the fat that we gave him. <sighs> That's fine. We gave him lots of other things. But yeah, nothing that's gonna help us here specifically, other than maybe that caffeinated chewing gum. Yes, all right, thank you, Elliot, thank you. And let's have that now. Okay, off into the night we go. Thankfully through terrain that we mostly know. Now there is one small problem, one thing that I have overlooked here on the farm. We neglected to smash one of the bodies because I wanted to come back to try and see if we could uh, butcher them. However, we ran into other problems along the way, so that is something that I'm going to want to try and see if we can rectify. That was a corpse, I believe, that was up here in one of these fields near the top. Not one of these ones specifically, but I remember it being towards the north. So if I had to take a wild guess, I would say it's probably one of these here. So there is blood in this field. Let's see what is out here. You know what? Let's just turn on our headlamp for now. I think that'll help us uh, because, well, if there is anything around, it's going to see us and charge us. Oh, and that's exactly what has happened. We have a zombie horse to the south. I don't know how dangerous you're going to be. You've revived recently, though, so yeah, it doesn't have a lot of life left in it. We're going to let it charge towards us. We're going to move back in the direction of Elias. We're going to try and face it together. Elliot very quickly takes it out. He actually picks it with that barkish beak of his. Thank you. And that thing is dead for real this time. It looks like it had actually smashed through the fence, so that's a little bit concerning for the other horses that we had on the property, but I just gotta hope that they're okay. I suppose we could also check in on Walter here, couldn't we? Oh, he is a little bit further to the south. No, we'll just leave him be for now. And just having a quick look at this, um, electric sports sedan that's at the campsite here. We really only need a large storage battery 
or just a battery of any kind in here to get it going. The issue with this electric car though is it's not like the older electric cars in Cataclysm. It doesn't have solar panels on the roof, so it's not going to be able to charge itself. But if we can plug it into a system, well, then we'll be totally fine. So for the most part, we are going to be traveling through known territory. I'm going to try and stay in areas like this that we have been in before. Oh, excellent. We can see just that a little bit further now. It is a nice clear night, new moon, so it's not, it's not giving us too much light but no fog, thankfully. There's the hedge maze, okay. No fires have raged over here. Now back on the street, we are going to move cautiously, carefully, and we're gonna find our way towards that hospital. First zombie we've seen, other than a shriekling we moved past. A brainless zombie, just wandering the streets. Let's leave a beef for now, Elliot. Ooh, that is tempting. This is a bookstore up here. We could just poke our head inside and see if there's anything left here. It's pretty quiet, and those shelves are very bare. What do we have? A drama novel and auto week. Yeah, really not that useful. We'll see if there's anything out the back. A bathroom and perhaps something in here. So let's get cracking. Tea leaves. Okay, no doubt there's going to be a fair bit of, um, I suppose, cafe supplies. It's probably the same thing up here. Yeah, so, hey, let's try and take salt and sugar where we see it. And we're probably gonna end up with a fair amount of salt this way, but hey, I'm good with that. Chocolate covered coffee beans, well, we can eat those right now, and we will. We are full, but they're very, very light. We can fit them in. And I don't think there's gonna be much on the roof, other than maybe some water over here. We don't have to do any cleaning right this second. So we'll also check in the back, nada. Okay, moving on. We shall mark this place as explored. Ooh, and that's a pupating zombie over there. Uh, I think we're gonna take this thing out because I don't want that to pop. Even if we are gonna be back here anytime soon, I think we try and stop that wherever we see it. There's a lot more sludge around here, so I really do think a lot of the dead that were around are, um, are pupating. We had a technician down to the south. We do have some police barricades over here, I think just around this open sewer. It's an empty commercial lot, okay. Let's just stay moving. Okay, and we are nearly at the house that was burnt down by Elliot. Yeah, here it is up here. So there is a, there's a chance that we might actually just be able to find some antiparasitic medication on some of the bodies that are down here. It's a small chance, but I'm gonna try. It's not looking good here. So I think we're probably gonna have to make our way up towards the hospital. Okay. All right, how bad can it be? I'm sure that most of the dead that were in there have been drawn out by the great raging fire. Hey, did we leave anything cool here by chance? Not really, no. Okay then, into this mess we go. And what a mess they've made charging out of here. And it looks like not all charged out. We got a firefighter zombie over here. We're gonna move back towards Elliot. Okay. The firefighter cannot see us. This site isn't going to be as good inside here. The woods are going to be fantastic in comparison. So we'll continue to explore and see what else we can find here. And in general, we're going to try and get as many medical supplies as we can while we're here and kill anything in our way. Wow, that's a considerable amount of ammunition. Thank you, crawling zombie. I'll take that. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. We've got a soda back here, we'll grab that. We'll improve our mood when we need to drink. And in the fridge, we've even got some yogurt and some hard cheese. We can always pass that on to Elliot. Let's grab at dusk. Another canned drink over here. And it sounds like someone is in the bathroom. Yep, I can hear it, Elliot. Let's just move on, leave them there for now. There's some cargo pants, quite useful, considerably useful. I mean, we've been rocking jeans for a very, very long time. I think we mix it up now. Cargo pants time. Uh, we are going to unload those jeans. And Dusk, let's just go leave them behind for now. I think fresh clothing is going to be a nice change. Over here, we have a first aid kit box. The bandages, the gauze, the medical tape, always going to be useful. And those aspirins will just take out of there as well. Okay, we can't just straight up open those doors, but we can probably Okay, well we can open that one. Uh, it's a decayed zombie, so we can handle it just fine, but we might as well have Elliot assist us where we can. And no doubt that's going to stir up some other 
uh, bits of trouble. We definitely heard sounds to the east and to the west, so there might be others trying to make their way in now. And I have no idea where Elliot just went. Why are you going down there, buddy? Just follow me. Okay, that's so bizarre. He doesn't want to go through that door. Is it because it was locked? Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that. How about you just keep following me for now then? Yeah, let's just stick together. Don't go anywhere that we wouldn't, brother. Yeah, see, you can follow us just fine. Unless there was something frightening him in here. It's possible. What have we got? Oxygen delivery kits. Uh, they are empty and over here, an oxygen concentrator. Right. Moving on then. A regular zombie? Okay. Let's just back on up for now and just annihilate you. Okay. Someone's down here. Yes, indeed they are. Dusk, move up. And I think she is able to take care of them. Totally fine by herself. Lots of different flavored chewing gum we're finding now. Those criticals though, 62 damage. That's really nice. Principia Discordia. It's a just for fun kind of book. We've got some antiseptic here just on the bed as well. Antiseptic is always going to be useful to us, so we will take it wherever we find it. I I would really like to get into the air. Man, what I would give for one of those jackhammers from the subway stations. I don't think we had any that were close by to us though, unfortunately. And some antiseptic powder in here. I think we'll just stick to the liquid antiseptic for the moment. And I'm pretty sure that Elliot checked all of these shelves in here, but I'm still just gonna pop in to have a quick look. Make sure that we haven't overlooked anything. There's a lot of slime in here. Hmm. Um, oh boy. That'll be where the sludge is coming from. There's a boomer glutton in here sludge this grotesque ball okay dusk well we know what to do about that don't we um it is coming for us we are going to try and shove this thing back against the wall okay that's good damage dusk let's move back again slam it and i think we've nearly got it one more good shove should take it out and it does it does indeed wouldn't mind that memory card let's see if we can move through this trail here it's very slow for us to clear it to move through all that mess uh, I don't think there was anything back there for us Elliot you didn't leave anything right I, I hope not so moving right along then uh, we are approaching the crater at this stage and there still are large portions of the hospital that we haven't explored yet we are seeing a runner somewhere okay pretty close to where we are at the moment so they might make their way on over towards us let's just stay aware of that i suppose if we kill that zombie over there they're more than likely going to head for us uh oh there's a few dead in here okay let's go for them first try and catch them while they're on or near the bed just because they're going to be that little bit slower Come on then, get on down this way. There we go, just some cigarette packs on them. And let's just step around the corner there, nothing hidden, but I think that there's still a lot of dead that way. Right, our computing skill is now two, and with an intelligence of 12, I wouldn't mind trying to hack the medical supply access. We can give it a shot. Lock and successful, dusk. <laughs> well bloody done, hot damn, hot damn. Okay, uh, that was not what I was expecting. Okay, um, Elliot, I'm gonna push you back for now. Um, let's go and drop the hiking backpack. Okay, and we attack this thing here, sinking her fangs into it. Dusk sends the devourer reeling backwards for 67 damage. Immediately, this thing is injured. I am so proud of these two. That was two attacks. I mean, there were multiple attacks happening there, but still, I am very impressed with what they're capable of. And I think that Elliot might be fighting something at the moment. Uh, indeed he was. He was just fighting that zombie runner that was up there before. But let me guess, you're totally fine? Of course you are. Of course you are. Okay, so, um, while I say that, oh, you must have slipped on over because you're on the bile stain at the moment. Okay, what do we got here? Anti-parasitic drugs. There we go. There we go. I am so happy about that. We've got the stimulants as well, the psychotics. Or the anti-psychotics, rather. Um, okay, yeah, we're going to be taking all of that stuff there. We'll take the aspirin out of those pill bottles. I think we're going to immediately take some anti-parasitic medication. Uh, it is going to be rough on our health, for sure, but we need to do it. Yes, there you go. I mean, that quickly? Your bowels spasm painfully as something inside them dies. I hate that, but we don't have the unexplained illness anymore. Okay, and we are under the effect of quite a few stimulants, so let's just maybe chill on the stimulant front for the moment. But uh, we are going to take more things with us. Excellent. 
the bandage, the flu shot. Do we have a scalpel on us? I'm not 100% sure about that. We of course are going to collect more of the anti-parasitic medication. Um, let's just have a quick look at scalpel. No, we do not have a scalpel currently, so that's very good. That'll help with our dissection. Over here, more antibiotics, just oh so many aspirin, and a lot of codeine as well. More than I think we're ever going to need, but hey, you never know. Cataclysm games, you can run through a lot of this stuff. Tramadol, we got some calcium tablets, some extra aspirin. Yeah, fantastic haul. I am so so happy about that. Now I am tempted to try and see if we can explore a little bit more of the hospital purely because we are here now. And I, I'm certain we know for sure that there is another few levels to this. Uh, so I wouldn't mind trying to make it up them. We have not found a staircase anywhere. So it makes me it makes me think that it's probably out this way here. So we could try and check the front, see how bad it is. Because we can still walk on this. This is, this is just dirt. It's not like rubble. Um, here is a ledge. Okay, so let's not walk off the ledge. That That is the, that's the meteor there. Okay. Right, well that's where it crashed down. There's nothing in that vending machine currently. How to trap anything. I feel like we've already got that as a book. Yeah, we do, we do, we've read it. And there is more activity happening down here. Okay, okay. Oh, Elliot, it's, why, 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 why do you keep on leaving us, buddy? Just stick close for now. Okay, uh, bathrooms? Definitely bathrooms. We had two zombie medics just hanging out in these bathrooms. Okay, let's just fight them one at a time. Dusk, thank you. Okay, and I suppose we could... Thank you, Elliot. Uh, just clear anyone else in there. That's a medical horror, so maybe not a former doctor of some sort, though its uniform has been torn. You assume the oversized muscles that cover it to be the culprit. I, I, yes, I will make that assumption. Let's try and see if we can mind hammer that. Slamming it down into the toilet there. It is staggered, and then we'll throw it back against the wall. Dusk. These telekinetic powers, fantastic. Doctor's badge there, but it is filthy. Uh, let's just take a moment, catch our breath back. Nothing has broken out of here yet. Okay, we don't, we don't need to clear these, do we? But it's more just to stop them from making a load of noise while we're trying to explore here. And still no staircase. I mean, <laughs> it, it could have literally been right here, for all we know. Uh, this is just going to be more bathrooms, yeah? Okay, well, we'll open the doors. Make sure it's all clear. What's being flushed there? A chunk of steel. Okay. Right, well, let's head further in, Elliot. We've got two locked doors right here and a few other locked doors as well. Let's just open these ones up quickly. Okay, it's a patient room of some kind. Um, we've got two others that are in here currently. Let's see if they want to try and make their way on out here. They haven't chosen to do that quickly, but they are slowly starting to filter this way. That's a medic that we've just taken down. What about you, sir? Let's just eliminate you from this equation. So much noise now in all these other rooms. So I think these are just all patients that died here. And looking at these hallways, I'm not sure if they're going to lead too much. They just seem to run straight down the hospital. Although in saying that, maybe up this way, we could find some staircases. It's possible. I am tempted to get at least one of these doors open so we can find out what is behind them. So let's get some enhanced muscles going. Bam. There we go. The strength is here. Let's get our breath back, and we're just going to quickly change to force unarmed, because then I believe we should be able to just smash. Ah, oh boy. Yep, we shoulder check the jaw instead of slashing it with our sword. There is a miracle lurker on the other side. This is someone from Mind Over Matter. The zombified remains of a practitioner of medicine. You're not sure of what field. Your focus is instead drawn to the way that its pink flesh snakes all over it, weaving its way over its wounds and injuries. Is that something that we can kill fast enough? I am not 100% sure. That is frightening. Um, can, I, can we mind hammer it through the door? Yes, the answer is yes, we can. It is downed. One more time, Dusk. Mind hammer. Okay, close, but no cigar. Maybe one more. There we go. Well done. Well bloody done. She's completely out of stamina now, though. Okay, all right, we're feeling better. Let's just continue getting this door down. We're just gonna do some regular shoulder checks into it now. Did you have anything? Just antiseptic, okay. Plastic apron and nothing else. Now, is it a similar situation in here? We can find out pretty quickly. Let's enhance our strength. Let's take a crack at the door. Okay, just a regular big boy in there. 
But there could be some supplies. We've got an autoclave pouch in there, which is potentially useful if we ever want to try and clean some uh, CBMs. Now, I suppose we could let you keep on smashing at that. Are we going to lose much stamina if we do it again? Well, you're through anyway. Let's change to brawling now. It just sends you reeling backwards there. Okay, that's that. And just some cotton balls. Let's take the pouches, just in case. And of course, let's get our breath back. Turn safe mode on and see what else we have around here. Um, I think really the only other doors that I'm willing to try and open are these ones here specifically. I think everything else, the chances of there being a staircase in there are super slim. Just thinking about building design really. So let's enhance the strength. Let's go unarmed and let's slam into this door. And sure enough, there are some dead on the other side and there's a zombie child, unfortunately. So let's go back to brawling and let's move back towards Elliot here because Elliot, oh well, I need you to take care of that one. Thank you. That is appreciated. Okay, nothing else on them. Let's move further along and just more doors. And honestly, those doors I think are just going to lead to the outside. So my theory is that if there was a staircase here, that staircase was destroyed. Um, there is a small chance it could be over here because this is the lobby so i'll have a look before we leave okay we've got a tough zombie outside it is making its way on over towards us elliot has decided to take another path for now just a fun for or rather a for fun book we've got a dark cola and no stairs okay then well that settles that i think from here we try and make our way back towards the uh magical basement um, that is as soon as Elliot catches up. Thank you, Elliot. Let's get moving. Okay, and there's been a lot of destruction here. This place was pretty messed up in the first place when we first arrived here. But we are just going to be going downstairs to see if there is anything that I have uh, neglected here. As from what I understand, sometimes, sometimes, we have to hit O to open um, things that are around us. Now, I was suspicious about this corner. There is nothing that can be opened there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move around this space here and see if we can discover anything that we can kind of push on that uh, opens up for us. Oh, okay. Right, down here. A lesser mana potion. I'll take it. I will take it. So there is a strong chance that we also had that back at the other house that we discovered like this. The one that was all the way. Uh, Glenburn, was it? No, Millis, all the way up here, the magic gate. Yeah, it's it's quite a distance away, isn't it? And so I think now that we've gotten the parasites out the way, we need to think about what our next step is going to be. We've secured much of the farm here, and I do think we can still spend a fair bit of time just reading. And honestly, I, th I, th I think that is the right call. We are going to have to visit the dinosaur nest to pick ourselves up some, well, new food. I'm definitely going to try and keep some of those eggs separate though, so that we can try and breed some of them on the farm. But I think it would also make sense for us to start trying to just cook that stuff a little bit more often. Uh, we can turn them into powdered egg eventually as well, so I think that'll be a good option for us. Maybe on the way back I will try and see if we can, for one, get the Siamese cat up here, but two, over at this pavilion, uh, take down the old stove that's there and try and drag that back to our place because a wood-fired stove is going to go totally fine and of course I do still want to try and work on getting a smoker and a charcoal kiln set up so we have lots of projects that we can be working on next step for us though is going to be the attunement altar and the Siamese cat okay so for the moment I'm just going to tell Elliot to guard this position so that he isn't going to try and trail us the whole way through here I cannot remember exactly where in here the cat was so I'm going to have to explore pretty much the whole maze again <laughs> I'll see you uh, once I've cleared everything there it is oh my gosh okay so I, I'm like right near the very end of the maze like I've weaved through all of it and we've found it this Siamese cat here. So, all right, dry cat food. We are going to feed it to this cat here. The Siamese cat seems to like you, or maybe it just tolerates your presence better. It's hard to tell with felineness. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, we do not want to cull the Siamese cat. Let's play with this cat here for a few moments. It has lifted our spirits and that is wonderful. Now, I think we're probably just gonna try and see if we can bash our way out of here. Um, and we might end up just using our shoulder. So let's go get some enhanced strength 
Let's change to unarmed. And we're just going to try and see if we can shoulder check our way through <laughs> this hedge. And we can. And the reason I'm doing this is because navigating through here with this cat is going to be a nightmare otherwise. And now Dusk has a little Siamese cat just following her around. That is it's just so cute. We can equip it with armor. And I think we can also get like the pet carriers as well so that we can... Um, carry them around uh that is very cute it is it seems to be able to keep up with dusk rather easily so that's great we're gonna make sure that we get you home nice and safe let's stop concentrating on the extreme strength and elliot hello follow along please and please please be kind to the cat thank you all right so that's time to start to begin our journey back but of course like i said we are going to stop by that pavilion along the way wow yeah that's a <laughs> That's a lot. Oh, our cat seems to be uneasy about heading down into the town here. Oh, there's a regenerating zombie. It's probably because it could see the regenerating zombie that was down there. Maybe, do we leave it? Do we try and fight it? It is a hairless zombie. Pale pinkish flesh moves across, seeming to be squirming across his body, quickly covering and fixing any wounds it receives. Its clothing is riddled with holes, suggesting someone else tried and failed to take it down. This is another mind over matter creature. I think we need to try and put these things down wherever we find them. It is a test of their abilities, no doubt. Let's see, Let's see what it can do. It's heading over towards Dusk and Elliot now. Elliot with a quick stab and Dusk only hitting it for four damage there. I think one more good strike should be enough to take it down. It is rather injured. There we go. We got it. Did they have anything secret stashed away? They had a cash card, but that seems to be about it. Everything else is very ordinary about them. Let's put our backpack back on. And I am gonna have to make sure that I just delete the notes on the map whenever we drop it like that. And Cat, Cat, where are you? There you are, okay. It seems to be more than happy to follow us until there is an enemy. And then it's like, yeah, no, I'm out of here. Okay, USP pistol, we're gonna go and pick up because we've got space for it at the moment. And we're just gonna keep on making our way down here. And I think it's got really good eyesight because it's seeing enemies way before we see them. So yeah, maybe we just go back up uh, and around this way. You're a good early warning system, cat. Now, of course, I'm not gonna call it cat forever. We will no doubt eventually determine a name for this creature. Let's see what we've got down here. Oh yeah, it's being uneasy again. So there's definitely something around here. But this of course is what we are here for. So, wood stove. Let's see if we can take you down. So I just wanna kinda, I wanna pick it up. Remove is also an option, right? Yes, but no. I think we're gonna go with deconstruct and I'm gonna hope that we don't end up just taking this whole ass thing apart. We are going to need a little bit of light to be able to do this. So we're gonna light this candle up here and let's see. Deconstruct furniture, 15 minutes. That's a boomer. Stop construction, yes. Elliot, thank you. Dust, let's strike out at it. Okay, looks like we're gonna need to fight here a little bit before we can do this. I'm worried about the safety of our cat. Let's go and just drop this candle over towards the side now. Oh, we've got a tough zombie here now as well. Elliot, if you wouldn't mind just giving us a little hand here, that'd be great, thanks. Okay, let's just move away from that for a moment. I believe our cat, yeah, has a good survival instinct. That much is clear. Okay, let's get a little bit closer to that. Elliot is healing us up so that arm should stop bleeding before too long. Let's continue on here. Okay, and it looks like we just full on take it apart. We've got a metal tank and a pipe. That is still useful. That is still useful for us. We briefly fell asleep there as well. Elliot fell asleep right afterwards, which is always dangerous. Hey buddy, wake up. I promise we're gonna sleep when we get back home. Uh, so what are we gonna do about this? Um, the tank is going to be too big for us to just carry, but, well, I mean, we could carry it in our hands, or we could try and put it into our lifting field. So let's just wear that for the moment. See if we can insert it in here now. Uh, it looks like we can. Okay, so we have a pretty massive volume that we can take. It's like 10,000 liters worth. And the metal tank is going to be pretty light at the moment because it doesn't actually have any liquid in it. So we've got 17 kgs of weight that left that we could carry in it. So it's only like three kgs just as it is. Uh, for us to put that back together again, for us to build a wood stove, it is a little bit more complicated for us. Mechanics three and fabrication five is what we need to be able to make a wood stove. So now I'm thinking, ah, we should have just grabbed the braziers from the altar, but I didn't want to desecrate it, you know? It just didn't feel right. Uh, so. Maybe on our way back here, we'll try and see if we can visit Walter. Um, it does seem like we do have something bad nearby though, because our cat 
cat's not happy. Let's just turn on the light. Ah, there we go. A bloated zombie there. Right, of course, poisonous gas. That's their deal. Look, it's been a while. <laughs> Uh, but that does seem to be the only one around there. Unfortunately, that poison is going to hang around us for a little bit. But we will live, Dusk. We will live. Let's just take a moment, catch our breath. Oh, a zombie child. Okay, Elliot. Yeah, do what you do. And you know what? Let's have that. Uh, let's have that candy there. We'll have that yogurt as well. Cat's pretty uneasy in this field at the moment. Uh, oh, that'll be why a vigilant amalgamation. Yet another kind of amalgamation. An inflated white body carried by five dainty legs, waving its remaining two constantly. Each one is tipped by a head-sized compound eye, independently scanning the horizon for its prey. That does not sound like fun. I also don't like that being so close to our friend. I think we're going to have to do something about that. Let's turn off that light, and we're going to drop our hiking backpack. We're going to get ready to fight this thing. Okay, let's just be careful. Cautious. We don't know where it's gotten to. Our cat's around here, though, so where did it go okay it's just off in the woods what are you are you running from the light it's so hard to tell a deafening a deafening screech it's just running into the woods now that's so bizarre it's running from us look at the devourer's corpse there that's the knife sparer of of walter oh it's coming back i think it doesn't like the light i feel like that's the case here okay well let's just it's back on off then let's get our pack it's really staying away from it huh that's so interesting. Okay, well then, Walter, yeah, you're doing fine. You're doing fine, bud. Just making sure it's not following us. No, our Siamese cat's totally fine. I think the three of them would just take a moment, dusk, introducing Walter to her new friend before they continue their way down onto the farm. All right, here we go. Peace, sanctuary, safety. At least uh, it should be all of those things. Uh, now. Uh, Cat, we are gonna try and see if we can keep you just, like, in here, if possible. You're well fed at the moment, you're faster than us, uh, but I think you just following us out in the wild is not gonna be a great idea. We're not gonna leave you tied up, but, um, yeah. We'll see whether or not it's possible to, um, <laughs> I think you're just gonna follow us around no matter what, aren't you? Yeah, okay, okay. Now, we could use a rope, a lead, to keep you safe here. You may very well be able to follow us for tonight because we do still need to make a trip out to the larder, get some more eggs, see if we can't process them. Yeah, Elliot, stick with, we're not done yet. And I do really like how much of an early warning system this cat is, oh my gosh, it's raining. We should really set the tank up outside if we aren't gonna turn it into anything yet. What are you seeing in the rain there, huh? Oh, you're seeing a hazmat zombie. Okay, okay, well, Elliot, Get ready. We'll let this one get closer. And we're going to take a good few swings at it. Oh, hang on. Am I still... We were just using our fists. We were just using our fists. That's why it was taking us so long to take down uh, trouble. I only got some more of that trouble. Yeah, that's it's much faster. Yeah, that's, that's far better. And our cat is back. Okay. All right. You know what? We could just keep our light on for a little bit at the moment. I'm pretty comfortable with that. Although in saying that, as we approach here, we probably want to turn it off because uh, we don't want to be seen stealing these eggs. Nine Camptosaurus eggs, it's going to put us considerably overweight, but we are going to grab those and we're going to see if we can grab one lot more of them. And that's, that's, that's very, very overweight at the moment. So let's just get away for now. I don't know if we're able to put them into the tank at the moment, if we can insert them into the tank. That would be useful to carry them in there if we can. Maybe? Kind of hard to tell. Uh, looks like maybe we got two into there. Well, I'll, I'll take it. It's better than nothing. We're just gonna have to deal with the weight. Actually, let's enhance that strength. And can we manage? We can. We can carry 141 kgs at the moment. Okay, Dusk. <laughs> Way to show off. I feel like this is the first rain that we've had. Oh, and now that I say that, it's just stopped. Uh, do we? Oh, we do actually have a downspout down here. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna wanna try and do for the future going forwards is that tank that we've got uh first of all let's just unload that there's no room in your inventory for okay right well we just want to oh we already took the stuff out of it okay that's good uh we just want to we just want to drop this tank uh i do want to take the eggs out of that though i thought we already did uh we want to have it on the same square as the downspout because 
I believe we may actually be able to get um, water directly into the tank by placing it under the downspout here. Whether or not we need to activate it or anything like that, I'm not sure, or if you have to actually try and place it. Uh, it does look like we're gonna to need to make a little bit more room for the eggs, so we're probably just gonna drag those for now so that we can grab that one egg out of that. The rest of it, we are going to haul. <sighs> and there we go. Okay, all the eggs, for the moment, shall be going into the fridge. 25 Camptosaurus eggs. They're gonna last a while. We've got four weeks on them, 12 weeks on the dried cat food, or we can make three more cat friends. <sighs> That's good, Dusk. You have, you have done good. She is still underweight at the moment. She is going to need to eat more. But today, she made a friend. And she destroyed another, one that had been living off of her for too long. And the next, we are going to crunch. We're going to study fabrication, our social skills, survival skills, as much of it as we possibly can. Because that knowledge is going to secure us a future. We need to be able to preserve food long term. That will then give us the energy necessary to go out there into the world to secure what we need to be able to make a generator we have seen some locations that have solar panels atop their roof we can gather those and that car eventually we can get that going again and that will take us far to the east but i think before all of that dusk is going to have to make a journey back back to where all of this began because we've not discovered another lab yet and that first place they escaped from still holds secrets and no doubt, mutagen that can help them on their journey. That narcolepsy needs to go. And Legionnaires, well, so do I. So, I'd like to ask you all, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.